Are you experiencing sound issues with your speakers or your new headset? Well, don't worry, I can show you how to troubleshoot that. What's up guys, my name is Kobo Man, and in this video I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot sound issues. So if you have a brand new, uh, or it doesn't have to be a brand new, I guess, but if you have like a headphones or speakers and for some reason they're not working, well, this is what I'm going to go over, over the steps that, uh, that you need to take in order to troubleshoot this. Okay, so let's get it started. Okay, first thing. First thing, obviously, you got to make sure is that your headset or your speakers are plugged in properly, right? So you either have a USB type of headset or you have a different kind of uh, headphones that have two type of jacks, right? They're audio jacks. And uh, especially if you have a microphone, one, one the one has a microphone attached to it. So one jack is going to be red in color. The other one is going to be most likely either green or or black, right? And that one is for audio, while the red one is for the microphone. So you got to make sure that's matched on your PC, right? So if you have a red plug, it goes into the red hole. And if you have a green plug, it goes into a green hole, right? So guys, just to show you real quick what I'm talking about. So here are my headphones, right? And my uh, microphone has a pink uh, jack, right? So sometimes it's either pink it's, or red, right? It's either going to be pink or red. In my case, it's pink. And for the speakers, it's green. So all you got to do is just make sure you match that, right? So green for the speakers, pink or red for the microphone. So after you make sure that all of this is plugged in, all of your either speaker or your headphones are plugged in properly, then you can move on to the troubleshooting of the sound within Windows, right? So in order to troubleshoot this properly, we got to find our way to our sound options. So how do we do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. First way is right down here where every uh, computer should have this icon. It's just a speaker. And it shows your volume right there, right? You can just right click and select playback devices. And you get this pop up, right? And it shows you what you have connected there. Okay, that's one way. This is just called sound, as you can see here. So another way is to through control panel, you click start, or you can just type in the sound here, or you can just go to control panel. And let me just bring this over here. And then you go to sound, which is right here. Okay, so this is where we need to be. And let me just bring this over again. So this is where we need to be, okay? So you have a headset. If you have a USB type of headset like this one here, which I'm using right now, um, it will show up just like this and it would uh, most likely would say USB type of connection, right? So this one is directly plugged in. This one is a self-contained headset that has a uh, built-in um, driver, built-in uh, sound driver, if you will, or sound, sound card as well, right? So this one just plugs in and self-contained and it doesn't rely on um, sound that comes from the PC itself. So the, you know, the green and the uh, the red jacks from the back, right? So it doesn't require that at all because it's a USB, it has its own, um, has its own uh, containment, right? So second type is just regular speakers. This is a green connection um, on, your, uh, on your PC, right? So these are the speakers. This is how exactly how regular speakers would look like. And right now, it's set as default. That means my speakers are working properly. And the way you can tell it's set as default is it has a green check mark. But um, if you want to change it to something else, you would just select something else and then right click it and just set it as default. Okay, this is great. A lot of times this is simple as that, right? Um, if your speaker that you have connected is like this, that means it's not working. It's not uh, giving any output. Um, the PC is not giving any output to your speakers if it's like this because it's not selected as your default. So you can go back and just right click, select as default. Okay. Now, just to point out real quick, right, you, what you see here is a Sound Blaster XFI Go Pro, which is a USB external sound card. This is why I have two in this example, which kind of works out pretty well, right? So um, if I'm using, uh, basically this sound card has the same connectors as my, as my computer, which is right here. So if I wanted to use that as the output to my speakers, I would do the same thing, right click, set as default. So 
So just like that, back and forth, whichever you, you know you're trying to output sound to, you got to make sure it's set as default. Okay. So now, in case you don't see these options right at all, right? If you, for example, don't see any of these, um, there's uh, there's another issue that I'll tell you how to troubleshoot real quick. Okay. Occasionally, devices get disabled. So when they get disabled, uh, by default they are hidden they basically you can't see them you know so what we have to do at this point if your device is disabled for example let's go ahead and disable this is my regular speakers I'm um, connected to my PC to my regular connectors on the PC so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, right disable and see how it disappeared well that's a problem right we gotta know where it's at because otherwise if it's disabled and we don't see it it's it obviously sounds not gonna work so that's how we're going to find this out. So let me go ahead and disable this one here. That one disappears too. And now I have uh, only my headset, which I'm using for recording right now selected. So same difference. Um, this applies same difference to the headset. Like I said, if you have a headset or headphones and it's a USB, it's going to be just like this. And the same deal if it's, uh, you know, the ones that have two prongs, just like I said, two jacks, you know. So this is how you troubleshoot. If it's a USB one, it's going to look like this. Um, if it's, you know, if it's a regular connector, it's going to have to be connected to one of those um, sound outputs that we just disabled. So, um, and as I said, this is a problem, right? This is disabled. Obviously, it's not going to work. So anything you plug in into your sound card or the back of your computer, it's not going to work because it's disabled. So now we have to go back and find it. Okay, so how do we do that? We see where wherever it's any blank space in here where it's black or I'm sorry where it's just white space anywhere in here you would right click and then select show disabled devices and then you select it right so here we are and I got a lot of stuff but we're gonna I promise you we're gonna go ahead and find our disabled um, headsets okay so here's our first audio device that we disabled so this is our regular uh, computer uh, output, sound output. So in order to enable it, we would just right click, enable. And by default, um, it's selected, it's set it up as default, which is great, right? But what if we want to use this one? We would do the same thing, make sure it's enabled, and then it by default, it selects it as a default device. You know, that's fine. If you want both of them enabled, that's fine too. So we can go back here and then set, if you want to use this output, you know, we got to make sure that's plugged in there, we set it as default. Okay, and here's my headphones. Now, as I, as I talked about earlier, these are regular type of headphones that are just have two jacks, you know, green and, and red. So this is connected currently to this, this right here. So in order for me to enable it, I would just right click, enable. So that's, that's how you do it, right? Now, whenever you select your default, whatever it is, this is only for playback, for only for output of the sound. Now, if you're having issues with um, your microphone not working, you would go to the second tab here, which is under recordings. So, same difference. You can see that my headset is moving up and down here uh, because it's, it's detecting my microphone, which is great. And it's selected as a default device, and then it's working, right? So, but... If you have a different microphone, which is in this case, so if we go back here, so where it says Sound Blaster XFI Go. Now let me go back here real quick for playback. That's coming from this thing. So this is Sound Blaster XFI Go, right? So the microphone that's attached to this is actually this one here. This is what's being detected, right? So my Sound Blaster XFI Go, which has two regular jacks, so it'd be the same difference if you plug it into your uh, just you know if you plug it into your computer same difference um, it would show up like it should be, show up as here like this okay so um, in order to make sure that this works that your microphone on your headset works or your headphones works um, you would right click it and set it as default device this would enable it and I'm not gonna do it here because it's gonna um, stop the recording of me because I have this selected already. This is the only way for me to actually record my video, right? You know, well, obviously I can use this, but 
you know, I can't obviously you get what I'm saying if I move it set the default to this this one's gonna die out then it's gonna cut off the video so we don't want that and just briefly um, this red uh, this red means that it's not plugged in right if I go back and plug it in it would you know it would disappear this red little red means it's not plugged in okay so let me just go ahead and go to properties here and see it points to the green it just means it's not plugged in so there you have it guys this covers the most likely issues with audio devices that are attached to your computer right besides obvious stuff you know you know the make sure that it's plugged in make sure that the volume is turned up same for the headset or for the speaker so uh, you know in case you don't know how to do that you can just go to levels here you know just double click on any of these if you're connected to this just double click it look at the levels make sure it's turned up all the way same difference for the microphone go to recordings you know double click it go to levels and make sure it's turned up all the way so that way you got to make sure you know that way you know that your uh, headset or your headphones are working properly right you know I could do the same thing here if I go over here um, I can you know look at change different head you know settings you know so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time and don't forget to share this video with friends and family and uh, hit a like button subscribe and I'll see you next time bye bye